bisectors of the angles of parallelogram enclose a rectangle so to prove this so i have taken one parallelogram so let me keep the points the vertex a b c and d so this uh, statement says bisectors of angles so angle a b c d angle a is bisected and angle b angle c and angle d if you bisect it enclose a rectangle so inside right this one you have to prove rectangle that is take so p q r and s so we need to prove p q r s is a rectangle and a b c d is parallelogram angle a b c d are bisected so every angle is bisected with this so a s is that means these two angles are same like these two angles are equal that is d a p and b a p if it is p so p a b and p a d these two angles are same similarly these two angles so every vertex has two angles we have to prove p q r s is a rectangle to prove p q r s is a rectangle every angle is 90 degree if i prove it's enough this is a p q r s is a rectangle so let's start so here a b c d is a parallelogram a b c d is parallelogram and a s b s so these all a s and c q so let's take a s is bisector of angle a a s and b a s and b s and next to c q and d q these four are bisectors are this four the bisectors of continuously angle a b c and angle d right so here a b is parallel to uh, d c since we need to prove finally p q r s is rectangle so every angle i should prove 90 degrees for that i am taking since d c is parallel to a b so one pair is opposite side is parallel and d a cuts them we have so angle a plus d d a is parallel to a b and a b is a transversal right a b is parallel to d c and this a d is transversal then we can write angle a plus angle d is equals to 180 degrees we know that because they are co interior angles so at some of the adjacent angles in a parallelogram or 180 that's the rule therefore angle a plus d is 180 degrees then angle a is plus d is 180 then we can half of the a because angle a is bisected that means half of the angle A plus half of the angle D is obviously equals to 90 degrees because A plus D is 180 then half of the A plus half of the D is a 90 so half of the A means I can take here is so P A D that is angle P A D plus and half of the D is taking this angle that is P D A or ADP ADP these two angles is 90 degrees some of this so if you can take this letter these two angles this one plus these two right so PAD and ADP these two is 90 so from APD triangle once these two angles are 90 degrees some of these two are 90 then third one should be equal to 90 because some of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees so using this concept we can take angle a p d but p a d plus a d p plus and angle p that is a p d some of these three angles is 180 degrees but already these two is 190 okay here these two angles is 90 degrees plus angle a p d 
is equal to 180. Then, therefore, angle APD is equal to 90 degrees. 180 minus 90 is 90. So, finally, we got angle APD is 90 degrees. So, observe here. Now, this is 90. If it is 90, then opposite angle. Vertically opposite angles. Right? So, you can see. This is 90 degrees. And vertically opposite angles also must be 90. That means QPS. Yeah, this is uh, Q. Therefore, QPS is 90 degrees. Inside angle. So, this is also 90 degrees. This is PQ. Or yeah, that PS, PQ angle. Then SPQ is this 90 degrees because vertically opposite. So, vertically opposite angles. So, one angle I got 90 degrees by taking this. Similarly, we can prove angle SRQ is 90 and this is 90 and other, other 3 also 90 we can prove. Therefore, remaining 3 also is 90, 90 we get. So, similarly, one of the angle you have to prove 90 degrees first inside the rectangles. Then you can write similarly angle PQR is 90 degrees and QRS. QRS because inside the rectangle is all other three angles and a PSR is also 90 degrees. Thus we can write, we can conclude that PQRS is a coordinate because every angle is 90 degrees. PQRS is coordinated each of whose angle is 90 degrees. Is coordinated and each of whose angle is 90 degrees. So any coordinate every angle is 90 then you can conclude and speak QRS is a vector. So only till we can do this step and similarly right then we can conclude that other three angles also 90. Similarly you can prove same if we take half of the A plus half of the B this is 90 will come and half of the C plus half of the B is 90 and the remaining is 90 will come opposite also 90. So similarly other three angles also 90 degrees each. So this way this way you can prove the bisectors of angles of a parallelogram enclosed rectangle. Then similarly you can write this. Then I will show you some numerical problems which are related to this quadrilateral how the questions will come based on these theorems and properties. I will show you some problems now. Problems based on this quadrilateral let us see.